Hey folks, Mike Budzine here with V8 Supercars Americas, getting ready for our annual V8 Super New Year's track day at the Nürburgring, and I wanted to show you guys a little trick that we figured out a few years ago to uh, get a full lap time in. Um, otherwise, you'd have to, you'd expect that you'd have to drive like two full laps around the combined circuit in order for the uh, lap counter to start working. As you can see down in the bottom corner of my screen here, I'm not currently recording a hot lap. But there is a way that you can save yourself a little bit of time and effort um, and still get a recorded lap in, and that's what I'm demonstrating to you right now. Uh, first thing we have to do is go out and basically do like one almost full lap of the GP circuit. There is a little bit of a trick towards the end there that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. So we're coming up on the end of our lap here, and we're just going to come out of the chicane and see the pit lane for the GP circuit, we're going to drive around these cones, make our way onto the pit lane, and we're going to stop right where you see this gap in the wall uh, for the pit entrance to the, the combined Nürburgring circuit. We're going to stop here, and we're going to hit our reset button. And when we do that, instead of being reset to pit lane, we're sitting here at the top of Dottinger Ho. So, we'll get our car started again. It will take off, and I'd like to ask, um, as a promoter, I'd like to ask that uh, for everyone that's doing this, uh, please, when you get when you get going, make sure that you stay to the right side of the track like I'm doing, just, you know, in case someone comes, comes up behind you that's on a hot lap, just to be courteous. And if you look down at my black box, you can see I'm still not recording a lap, but that's okay. Get up to speed on the Dottinger Hall, under the Bilstein Bridge, and we're going to go through Tiergarten. And once we come out of Tiergarten and onto the GP track, if you watch when I cross the start finish line, I'm now recording a hot lap. And from here, I can keep going, do the full combined circuit, come back across the start finish line, and my lap time will be recorded. So, I know it's not the biggest secret iRacing has to offer, but it is something that we do get a lot of questions about every year that we do this, so I hope this video helps you out, and I hope to see you guys at our annual V8 Super New Year's Nürburgring Gathering. And have a happy new year.